recommit ourselves to working for peace and celebrate mothers and to remember our families, our loved ones that we've lost either to murder, um, our loved ones who aren't with us because they're locked up either in DYS or in prison. They're not forgotten. We've got to work together to accentuate the positive. So my feeling today as I'm walking, I'm feeling the love. I'm feeling the unity. the founder of Peace Boston and we work to uh, promote the message of peace for the Louis D. Brown Peace Institute. This is my fifth year. You know the reality is our young people are really in a bad place right now and too many of them are dying way too early in their life at the hands of violence. And a personal draw is I'm, I was marching today with a friend of mine who lost her son uh, in November of 08 to, to, to murder. Uh, it's a really important thing what the Louis D. Brown Institute is doing along with the Allies because you know, Mother's Day, particularly for mothers who have lost a child, is a very difficult day. I'm new at this. My son passed away November to, um, 25th of 08, 2008. Um, and um, a young lady, she's a Wheelock College um, graduate. And she's part of my family. And she's the one who um, told me about the Peace Walk. And um, my son was awesome. And we want to keep him alive. So we thought it was the best thing to do is come out here and and continue so people could know who he is um, and it's it's wonderful to be here with other mothers and other families um, sharing this day just in you know me walking for peace and, and also to um, remember those that we lost to survive and we have to be our brother's keepers and our sister's keepers and we all have to stick together to survive and you can never forget that. Yes.